Okay, um, let's talk about the algebra of, of uh, logarithms for a bit. Uh, first of all, the rules. Um, we have um, we have several properties and um, several laws. So first off, the definition of the logarithm is really, really, really important. Um, the definition of the logarithm and let's use uh, b and x is the de it's the logarithm is basically the inverse of the exponential function and so um, the log of the output is going to be the input of the exponential just like what we talked about earlier about um, inverse functions and so this is incredibly incredibly important um, so let's say, for example, you want to find, you know, the log of log base 3 of 27. What this is really asking you is um, 3 to, this is really the way to interpret it is 3 to what power gives me 27? Well, this isn't um, one that's terribly difficult. Well, the answer is just... Uh, 3. So then log base 3 of 27 is equal to 3. So that's why it's the inverse of the exponential. It tells you um, the input. It tells you uh, what number do you need to plug into the exponential function to get it to equal 27, basically. Okay. Now, um, from that, uh, let's say you want to find you know, log base 4 of 1 eighth, for example. So this one's a little bit trickier because um, 4 to what power equals 1 eighth? Well, it's not really um, a, definite, a definite number, a whole number. And so what you can do is you can um, call on the, uh, what I like to call, call on the lumberjack. And the lumberjack is just a, a way of remembering sort of the definition. And so what you do first is you set this guy equal to x because you're, let's say, you're, look, you're looking for x. And so what you do is, the way to remember it is, is instead of remembering it as a formula or if you just forget, um, I mean you should know the definition, but if you forget it for whatever reason, you need to remember that the base of the log is the same as the base of the exponential. So um, the base is going to be uh, 4 here, and then the lumberjack is going to kill the log. And then um, all you've got to do is switch these two. So now the x is going to go on top of the 4, and then the 1 8 is going to go on the other side. Okay, and... So then, uh, to figure this one out, all you've got to do is uh, how you would solve an exponential equation, uh, meaning you would set, you'd want to make the bases the same. So notice that 4 and 8, there's a common base, uh, which is 2. This guy is um, 2 to the 2x is the same thing as 4, x, 4 to the x. And then um, the 8, if you bring it up on top, you get, um, this is actually uh, 8 to the negative 1. Or in other words, 2 to the negative 3. So remember that when you, um, although usually you um, have negative exponents, you want to make them positive, so you move them. In this case, you want to put them both on the same level, so um, you can make it into a negative. And so then all you've got to do is set, since the bases are the same, um, you just set the exponents equal to each other, and you would get that x is equal to negative 3 over 2. So that's how you find the log of um, numbers like that. Okay. So... That's good. Um, now let's say that you want to 
let's say we want to do, so let's go do a quick recap of the properties. Um, properties and the, the laws. Um, remember that log of when the base is the same as the argument, um, this is always equal to 1. You can verify all of these with the uh, definition, um, but I'm just going to state them again for you. Um, also, log of 1 is always equal to 0. And when the base is being raised to the log with the same base, of whatever that is, that's just equal to um, x. Okay, um, so those are um, three of the properties. Now, then there are three laws, and these are really important. Um, when you're multiplying two things inside of the log, let's say base b, you can break these up by adding or vice versa. And we're going to use these um, laws a lot in, in, uh, in our class. So um, log, when you're dividing, you can break them up by subtraction. And when the inside of the log is being raised to a power, what you can do is bring the power on the outside of the log by multiplying. And these are analogous to the um, laws of exponents as well. Notice that when you multiply two exponents, two um, factors, you add the exponents. When you divide them, you subtract the exponents. When you raise a power to a power, you multiply them. So they're analogous to those. And that's really how the easiest way to to remember them. Okay, so let's say for example, um, let's say you want to uh, expand the expression log. Remember if um, a log doesn't have a base, it means it's base 10. So let's do log of um, the square root of x squared y cubed over z. Okay. Now I'm going to show you guys a really quick way to do this. Um, the first thing to do is the square root, you need to turn it into an exponent. So remember that um, the square root as an exponent is um, the same thing as raising it to the one half. Okay, and so then, here I'm raising, so I need to figure out what rule to use. So this one half um, is the exponent on this entire thing, so that means I can bring it out in front, multiplying everything. So log x squared y cubed over z. Okay, so now, this is a quick little uh, trick here. Notice that here um, I'm multiplying and then here I'm dividing. What I can do is, well first of all, we can't bring the 2 out and the 3 out right now because you can only bring it out if it's being raised, if you're raising the entire argument inside of the log. So since these are individual, um, here we could because it was being raised um, on everything, but these are individualized, so we have to first break them up before we can bring them down. Okay, so now, um, here, these guys are multiplying, which means um, when I break it up, they're going to be adding, and then here I'm dividing, which means when I break it up, it's going to be subtracting. So I'm, I could do this all in one step. Um, let me leave the one half out of everything. Um, because that'll make everything easier. And then if I break this up, well, these guys that are multiplying on top, they're going to be positive. So I'll do both steps in one. I'll use rule number three, bring the two out. And then here, since I'm multiplying, I'm going to add. And then again, the three, I'm going to bring it out. But see, only on 
the log with the y on it. And this one, the 2 only comes out on in front of the log with the x. And now here, since the z is dividing, I'm going to subtract log of z. And that's it. I expanded it. Um, if you want, you can distribute the 1 half, but this is pretty much um, the answer. Okay, now in, this, in the same token, I can also uh, combine into a single logarithm. So let's say, for example, I want to combine something like um, a natural log. Ooh, we haven't quite talked about this yet, but remember that um, natural log is log to the base of e, and e, remember, is very important number, the natural exponential, but it's about 2.71, etc., etc., etc. So we're going to be talking about log a lot later. But anyways, um, so let's say we have natural log, let's say 2 natural log of um, x plus 3 natural log of z minus 4 natural log of y. Okay, so it's the same thing we just did, but it's backwards. Um, first thing is, if you have numbers in front, you should bring them out in front as ex out in inside as exponents. Okay, so then I'm going to have natural log of x squared plus natural log of z cubed minus natural log of y to the fourth. Okay, and so then um, you can combine them the same way we expanded them. The ones that are positive are going to be multiplying, and the ones that are negative are going to be dividing. So we can combine all of this into one uh, big fraction where um, x squared and z cubed are going to be multiplying. And since the y, natural log of y to the fourth is negative, this one's going to be dividing at the bottom. And that's it.